Hello, I am Hannah Howard. I am an educator and I will be giving practical tips for remote learning. During this time of COVID-19, parents and students are having to make a lot of adjustments. And in order to facilitate a healthy culture of learning, we want to ensure that very specific things are in place at home for this to happen. So here are seven tips for remote learning. One, you want to ensure that you have a designated device for the child. You want to also ensure for that device that the child knows how to use the device prior to the session that you have online. Two, have a designated space for the child to do their his or her online learning. You can feel free to personalize that space, put up work that the child has done in the past. And even if, I would say, even if you have limited space, find a way to, to make it personal for the child. Find a way to, to give them their own little corner. Even if you use a box or a crate and you put the device on that, that would and include the child in that process as well. Include the child in the process of creating that space and making it comfortable for the child. Three, set a routine and post a schedule. For these little ones, it's so important that they have structure. They need to know that they are walking into a predictable and stable environment. So I would say even post the schedule in the learning space for the little ones who don't read fluently yet, even put little diagrams that help them know what they need to do at different points during the day. So I would say you wake up, you brush your teeth, you have breakfast, you change your clothes, ensure that they're not doing these sessions in their pajamas because they might just fall asleep. Ensure that they are alert and ready for learning. And you can do that by ensuring that the schedule is very clear and by ensuring that they know what they have to do in the morning when they wake up. Four, review expectations. It is really important that you as the guardian and the child that you are aware of what is expected of you from the teachers. So have a conversation with your child. Let them know what is expected as they sit and engage in online learning. I would also say include them in the process of maybe even creating some rules around that. Ask them questions, say, are you are you allowed to stand and do a dance on your chair while your teacher is teaching math? But ask the child different, different questions so that they are very clear what the expectation is. Are they allowed to go on other programs while they're learning? All of these things are really important so that they know the behavior that is expected and know what their teachers are expecting of them. Five psychological hurdles you and your child you are both going to have different psychological hurdles and it's really important that you take time to identify those things sit with the child have those conversations where you ask how are you feeling ask them some of the challenges that they're facing because they're so young they aren't able to evaluate and come to these conclusions on their own. So it's really important that you create that environment where they feel free to talk to you about those things and you help them identify those feelings and help them work through it. And sometimes all they need is a little praise. A little praise goes a long way. Six, parent-teacher synergy. It is very important that you keep communication open between yourself and your child's teacher. Your child's teacher and yourself, you form a unit, a support unit around the child. And inside of that unit, what helps things to, to move smoothly and, and, and what helps your child learn and flourish is open communication. Ask questions. Give, and inside of asking those questions, to ensure that you have patience with your child's teacher. Ask those questions, communicate with the teacher, let them know what challenges you are facing with facilitating your child's learning. 
and ensure that you know what they are expecting of you as your child's guardian or parent. Seven, there is need for quite a bit of creativity. In school, your child would have had a schedule. They would have been going, having outside playtime. They would have been interacting with their friends and that kind of thing. So as a parent, you want to be aware of that and create opportunities for your child to interact with his or her peers. So even reach out and set up some online play dates. Use this opportunity to explore different ways that you can engage your child in creative learning. It really is needed at this time. So explore art, explore to a treasure hunt, explore cooking, include them in the cooking process a bit more, but ensure that they have ways that they can explore different forms of learning and that they're not just sitting in front of a device. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your child. Find opportunities to give detailed praise. And all of these things, in addition to the tips I shared early on, will ensure that your child flourishes.